All right, Colin, I'm back. And uh, you guys might recognize, oops, it. Might recognize these if you saw some of my last videos. Let me, uh, you wanna get the squid on and pick up my dropped item. Right, come on. Hey, there we go. <clears throat> I'm gonna save this one for last. So I've got two bags of bean chips. These are Harvest Snaps Baked Red Lentil Snacks. We have tomato basil and we have sour cream and onion. And these look really good actually. It looks like really they just took bean paste, smashed it up and baked it up like a potato chip. Why not, you know? Uh, Gluten-free, plant-free. It's going to probably be pretty high in protein. So um, let's go ahead and start off with the sour cream and onion one. On the back, uh, on the front, we can see that the uh, sour cream ones are kind of like fungins almost. And these ones are more shaped like actual like um, um, bean snap things. And on the back, they've got pretty similar promo things. Um... Dig in, veg out. Veggies are always the number one ingredient you know, or flavors or preservatives baked. This is a no-fry zone. Uh, veg out on a crunchy snack that's so good, made from farm-picked lentils and baked to be super, super satisfying. These crunch-tastic, poppable pops are packed with big-time flavor. It's a tasty snack to get on your to get your snack on. So crunch the day away. And uh, it's kind of cute. Down here in the uh, UPC code, they got little little leaves growing up out of it. That's cute. <laughs> okay, so uh, they are gluten free. They are plant based protein. The sour cream and onion one here. Serving size one bag. I'm not going to eat the whole bag on camera. Uh, calories per serving 100 calories. Total fat 4.5 grams, six percent. Saturated fat zero grams, zero percent. Trans fat zero gram. Cholesterol, 0 milligram, 0%. Sodium, 135 milligram, 6%. So these are pretty good on both saturated fats and on sugars. You could munch these a, whole, munch a bunch of these up, you know. Carbohydrates, 12 grams, 4%. Dietary fiber, 4%. Includes added sugar, 0. Protein is 3 grams per package. Uh, 0 vitamin D, 40 milligrams calcium, 4%. Daily vitamin, uh, iron, 0 0.7 milligram, 4%. Potassium, 100 milligrams or 2%. And I'm going to hold off on reading the ingredients for a moment. Let's take a look at the um, uh, nutrition facts for the um, tomato basil one. Uh, again, serving size is one bag. Calories, 120 per bag. Total fat, 5 grams, 6%. Saturated fat, 0%. Trans fat, 0 grams. Cholesterol, 0. Sodium, 85 milligrams or 4%. Again, you know, pr pretty healthy snack. Uh, total carbohydrates, 5% or 14 grams. Dietary fiber, 2 grams or 7%. Total sugars, 1 and 0 added sugars. And this is actually 5 grams of protein for you protein buffs out there. You know, uh, low calorie, high protein, right? Uh, zero vitamin D, four percent calcium, six percent. Yeah, one milligram of iron is a six percent serving of iron, and potassium is hundred and sixty milligrams or four percent. Now the reason why I skipped on the uh, ingredients is because it's a uh, red lentils, rice, canola oil, red lentils, rice, canola oil, and then after that it breaks up into differences. So on the sour cream and onion one. Sour cream and onion, seasoning, salt, whey, tapioca, dextrose, natural flavor, buttermilk, solids. Again, with your milk solids. Onion powder, sour cream, parsley, yeast extract, non-fat non -fat dry milk, spice, calcium carbonate, and a natto color, rosemary extract for freshness. And these are uh, oh, made by Calbi. So on the, um, tomato, the tomato basil one, after... The uh, canola oil, they also put rice in here. Tomato basil seasoning, malodextrin, salt, sugar, natural flavors, onion powder, garlic powder, tapioca, dextrin, citric acid spices, including basil, extra, extra virgin olive oil, yeast extract, white distilled vinegar, 
extract of tomato, paprika color, calcium carbonate, and rosemary extract for freshness. Packed on equipment shared with milk. So if you got milk allergies, you should be careful. So um, yeah, let's put these down here for a moment and talk about this thing. This is a Bobo's chocolate chip oat bite. Baked with love in Boulder, Colorado. Non-GMO, gluten-free. Gluten-free, so that's good. And uh, on the back here, we have the ingredients of uh, uh, whole grain rolled oats, brown sugar, rice syrup, coconut oil, cane sugar, chocolate chips, sugar, chocolate liqueur, cocoa butter, vanilla extract, vegetable, glycerin, sea salt, xanathan, gum, natural vanilla flavor, vitamin E for freshness. Contains traces of peanuts and tree nuts, so be careful if you've got nut allergies. And on the back here, <clears throat> oh wow, on the back here we've got the uh, nutrition facts. It is one package is 150 calories. That's a lot of dense calories in that thing right there. Uh, total fat, 6 grams. Saturated fat, 4 grams. Trans fat, 0. Cholesterol, 0 milligrams. Sodium, 75 milligrams. Total carbs, 27 milligrams, fiber, 2 grams, total sugars, 8 grams, included added sugars. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and stop reading there. So let's put that there. And uh, I'm going to try the sour cream and onion ones first. Peels very nicely down the side there. Can you see them? There we go. It tastes like potatoes are gratin. It tastes like a big old pile of of potatoes are gratin with a big old pile of sour cream on top. They're good. Those are very, very good. Um very crispy. They they, they taste like fungians. They remind me of fungians. Oh wow, that's a that's a strong flavor ship right there. Mmm. Mmm. That smells really good. That smells really, really good. It tastes like pasta sauce. It, it, it tastes like a crunchy, explosive a bit of pasta sauce. These are both very, very good. I don't know how much they would cost individually. But, um, yeah, if you're at Trader Joe's or Sprouts, you should grab some of those. Um, give me a second. Thank you. So, let me uh, take a sip of that real quick. And we're going to get into this thing now. Mmm, that is incredibly dense. That is very, I don't know if you can hear how heavy that is. That's a heavy little chonker of a snack. That is very, very dense. You can... Taste the bits of oat crunching up in there as you chew it. Let me go ahead and uh, dip that in the milk there. I can see the chocolate chips in there, but I'm not really not really tasting them as I chew them, but they're good.
these. Again, I don't know how much these are individually, but if you find them out there, they'll be at like Trader Joe's or Sprouts or something like that. So probably not something you're going to be able to afford usually, unless you, you know, go visit the food bank like I do. Again, I don't feel bad for doing that. Um, that's been Colvin talking about a uh, oat to treat bobas and uh, harvest snaps. They're a bunch of good, healthy, this is very dense, but still very healthy treats. And if you're ever willing to spend the money or you're at a Sprouts or a Trader Joe's, you should see about grabbing some of these. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.